guys. But I'm back and I'm here again at Mazda Passage where I'm going to have another mod installed in Scarlet. And it's going to be an interior mod. I'm here to have a, a set of aluminum Mazda Speed uh, pedals uh, installed in, in the car. So I'm gonna show you guys what it's all about. First of all, uh, I, I do ap apologize for my voice. You see, I came down with a, with a pretty bad case of flu last week. And because of that, I lost my voice. So that's why my <laughs> I have this really rumbly, rough, gravelly voice that I'm using to vlog right now. But uh, since this uh, mod install has been scheduled already with Mazda Classic, I really don't have much of a choice but you know, to continue vlogging about this so that you guys uh, can see what it's all about. I mean, you're not really subscribing to my channel anyway because of my lovely bedroom voice, right? You know, enough, enough about my voice, enough about this, you know, uh, really bad, bad voice. <laughs> Enough of that, and let's head straight to the mod, to the installation of the Mazda Speed pedals. Let's go, guys. Now, some of you might be wondering why most of my uh, initial mods being done on Scarlet are mostly cosmetic or interior mods. Now, there is a reason behind that. I still haven't uh, really driven Scarlet uh, as much as I want to. Um, She's only just crossed 2,000 kilometers as of this video, and I haven't taken her out uh, to the track yet, so I have no idea what kind of direction I want to take her when it comes to suspension, braking, and performance mods or engine mods. Since you know, Miatas are very nice cars to customize and to modify, uh, I've been experiencing that itch ever since I bought Scarlet, since I bought my car. And in order for me to scratch that itch, what I've been doing is I've been, you know, doing a little bit of mods here and there, like you saw the carbon miata, quilted the floor mats, you saw the, the installation and fabrication of my carbon fiber rear spoiler, uh, and other tiny mods that will kind of scratch that itch uh, that I have to modify. And uh, until I would know my direction where I'm going to take Scarlett in terms of performance, whether she's going to be an all-out track car or maybe, you know, a high-performance uh, weekend cruiser, I have no idea yet what I really want to do with her. For the meantime, these are the small mods that I've been doing, just a bunch of cosmetic interior and minor mods just to satisfy my itch. So that's the reason why. Now, if you're all excited to see uh, what kind of performance mods I'd be doing to, with Scarlett uh, in the future, it wouldn't hurt to, you know, uh, subscribe to my channel, hit that subscribe button, uh, like my videos. That way, it will also help me, you know, come up with uh, better videos for you guys uh, moving forward with, my Scar with this uh, channel. Okay guys, uh, I have with me now uh, Miko, Miko David. Uh, there's Miko. Uh, Miko is the, you know, the, the main guy in Mazda Philippines for, for PR. For PR. Yeah, PR and customer relations. And uh, he's quite active in the Miata Club uh, Philippines. And it was through the club that I got to uh, meet him. And he's the one who hooked me up for the Mazda Speed Pedals. So there's Miko right there. Yeah, hope you enjoy driving with the bands. Yeah, well, we really enjoy it. <laughs> if ever any of you guys have any, you know, anything you, any concern, anything you want for uh, Mazda and you're from the Philippines, you know, this is Miko your guy. Okay. Right. Just give me a call. All right, guys. Thanks, Miko. Thank you. Okay, we have the four pedals here. So these are the ports. I think this is the gas pedal. Looks like it's a gas pedal. Uh, one of these two are the brake and the clutch pedals. There. And this one is the dead pedal. There you go. So, as far as I know, this will require some drilling. This will require some drilling as well. I think two, two screws. 
and these ones will just require uh, you know uh, the stock pedals to be removed and replaced <laughs> these babies area is going to be prepared now We're at the service bay of Mazda Passing and Scarlet is about to go under. Okay, so the clutch pedal has been removed and that's the first one going in. Clutch pedal uh, being installed right now. See, as you can see, uh, the clutch pedal is just slip on over a metal pedal. It's a pretty straightforward removal. Glad to have the professionals do it for me here at Mazda Passage. Okay, pedal number one, the clutch pedal is already installed. There you go. See that huge difference between the stock pedal and the Mazda Speed pedal. It's got more bling now, guys. It also helps to uh, apply some lubricant to the back of the Mazda Speed pedals before you install it. So in this case, I think they're using this kind of um, rust for penetrant. I have a feeling it's like a WD-40. Uh, so they, they apply this first, which makes the pedal go on easier onto the, onto the metal pedal. Holy cow, look at that. We now have a clutch and a brake a pedal there. Guys, the, the brake pedal took like less than a minute to install because of that lubricant. So I guess that's one of the techniques. We're planning to do a do-it-yourself installation, put some lubricant on it. Okay, so what's gonna happen now is uh, we're gonna remove the negative terminal of the battery. What's gonna happen here is they're going to remove the accelerator pedal, which would require that the battery should be disconnected. Why remove the accelerator pedal? It would be easier to drill the holes into the accelerator pedal by doing that. So that's uh, the technique that they're gonna do uh, in this installation. Okay, we have the gas pedal here. It's been removed. This is the entire gas pedal assembly. So I didn't know you could remove this. Apparently it's just a couple of uh, couple of bolts here, here and here. Uh, I don't see any other bolt. And you just remove uh, the thing here. This is for the uh, electric, I think, like the components. So by removing the gas pedal, it's now easier to uh, drill the holes. For the for here, it's now easier to just drill the holes here and then install the entire thing with this thing already uh, in place. There you have it, <laughs> Scarlet without a gas pedal, and you can see it just connects uh, to that that thing there, this one. Uh, wow, this is a new approach. <laughs> Smile, you're on camera.
Now that the holes have been drilled, it's an easy uh, screw in for the Majesty pedals on the gas pedal assembly. All right, there you go. So gas pedal is already done. Uh, looks perfect. So it's, it's ready to go back to the coach, no? Niba. Niba, okay na, ready na. Okay. All right, so we now have the gas pedal fully installed. We have three of four. As you can see, uh, we have the clutch gas and brake pedal right there. It's starting to look good, guys. One last pedal to go, the foot press. To install the foot press or the dead pedal, what first thing that was done was the side uh, moldings were removed. This will give us easy access to the footrest. Okay, so they're complete, guys. You can see we have the four pedals, dead pedal, clutch pedal, brake pedal, and gas pedal, all one big happy family. So now we're going to uh, install back the plastic moldings and the carpets, and that's a wrap. My Mazda Speed aluminum pedals now fully installed. Looks fantastic with the carbon miata quilted floor mats. All in all, the installation took less than an hour. It's a big advantage that it's the service uh, people here in Mazda Plastic are the ones who did it. So special thanks to Mark who did the who did the installation process. They look OEM guys. <laughs> what nice bling! I love the bling. Yeah. So. That wraps up another Scarlet Miata Mods episode. If you like to follow what I do with Scarlet, just subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up button, guys. See you next time. Bye.